and good morning here on this Wednesday, August the uh, 26th. Welcome into the K Win Today program on News Radio 1013 and 1420 AM KWN. Some of you may be listening uh, this uh, morning on. Uh, 106.1 FM. We're going to be talking a little bit about that coming up uh, this morning of what that station is in the uh, process of uh, becoming. Brand new, uh, brand new uh, format. We'll get into that coming up. And good morning to everyone watching us on uh, either ITV Channel or the uh, streaming app that's available for your uh, Fire Stick, Roku's, uh, your uh, Android TV, Smart TVs. It's ITV Chattanooga here on KWN TV. We welcome everyone also watching on uh, North Alabama Electric Co-op or uh, TBN TV on the cable systems around the uh, around the Tri-State area. Good morning. Nine minutes after the hour, we start our program every morning here on KWN today with a look at area death notices that are brought to you by more funeral homes, where we uh, have chapels serving the uh, entire Tri-State area, both on Sand Mountain and Trenton. From cremation to traditional funeral services, Moore Funeral Home. Now for over 70 years, Moore Funeral Home dedicated to those that we serve. Out of DeKalb County, Mr. Earl Claude Holcomb has passed away. Funeral services will be at 12 o'clock this coming Thursday. They will be graveside at the DeKalb Memorial Gardens. W.T. Wilson Funeral Chapel in charge of the arrangements. Shirley Martin has passed away. Services will also be this coming Thursday. They'll be at the Rainsville Funeral Home in the chapel at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. A celebration of life is going to be held at a later date for Barbara Stokes. The Rainsville Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. Nina Cox has passed away. Funeral services will be coming up Thursday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Rainsville Funeral Home the Rainsville Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. Annie Cunningham of Sand Mountain has passed away. The uh, the family uh, is advising due to the COVID, the family will have a private service. The Rainsville Funeral Home in charge of the arrangements. Floral Ann Owens of Pisgah has passed away. The family will also have a private memorial service at a later date. Rainsville Funeral Home in charge of the arrangements. Mark Anthony Richards of Sand Mountain uh, has passed away. A private uh, graveside service will be held at a later date. Susan Lynn Aches has passed away. Family will announce a memorial service at a later date. Out of Jackson County, Jerome Carden has passed away. Funeral services will be coming up today at two o'clock. They'll take place at the Cal or the Charity Baptist Cemetery. Scottsboro Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. Sandra Fairbanks, Sandra Ledwell Fairbanks has passed away. Funeral services uh, will be coming up uh, this coming Saturday at one o'clock. A memorial service will take place at the Old Baptist Cemetery. Scottsboro Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. Rudder Funeral Home uh, is announcing the passing of Samuel, Samuel Austin Wildman. A celebration of life is scheduled at a later day. Out of Marion County, we have the passing of Mary R. Bell. Family will have a private service at a later date. Tate Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. Delilah Moore has passed away. The family will also have a private visitation that will be held today. The graveside service will be open to family and friends, and that will be coming up today also at 5.30 this evening at the Trenton Baptist Cemetery. Funeral arrangements are being uh, conducted by the Tate Funeral Home. Also out of uh, uh, Jackson, DeKalb County, Preston Daniels, Preston Curtis Daniels of uh, Flat Rock Address has passed away. Memorial service will be held this coming Thursday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon at Ryan Funeral Home. Dole Joseph Mashburn has passed away. Services will be coming up at 3 o'clock this afternoon. They'll be in the Trenton Chapel of Moore Funeral Home. Visitation with the family will be from 11 until 3 today. It will be a private funeral service this afternoon with the family. 
Moore Funeral Homes Trenton Chapel in charge of the arrangements. And that's a look at area death notices out of Jackson, DeKalb, Marion, and Dade County. Brought to you by Moore Funeral Homes, which chapels at North Sand Mountain and Trenton. Their family, serving our family in our time of need since 1945. Moore Funeral Homes, dedicated to those that we serve. 14 minute camp to the hour. We've got a lot more still to come this hour on the KWIN Today program. Stay with us. Well, welcome back to the uh, Came In to uh, Day program. Now, about 18 minutes after the hour, not 18, on this uh, 26th day of August. Glad to have you along with us this morning. Got the Newsmaker segment coming up uh, with well, a news uh, update at the uh, bottom of the hour, brother, here on uh, this uh, uh, morning of the... Uh, of the 26th day of August. Open up the phone lines now if you'd like to be a part of the program. Birthday and anniversary, we'll take those. If you'd like to uh, give a shout out, somebody may be having a birthday or maybe having a uh, an anniversary, uh, we'll take those as well. The phone numbers are on the screen if you're watching on television or if you're listening on the radio, they're 706 657 7594 or 423 642 95 96 is the. Uh, is the number to call. 19 minutes now after the hour of 9 o'clock. Good morning, everyone. Glad to have you along with us. We've been talking about the new uh, uh, station that's going to be coming on the air, primarily for the Sand Mountain and uh, North Jackson and uh, and Marion County area. It's going to be on FM 1061. And if you're in uh, in Chattanooga, you can also listen on uh, 95.7 FM. Those uh, two frequencies are going to have this new station. Let me uh, take this phone call and we'll talk about it. Good morning. You're live with us on KWIN Today. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, this is our man, Junior, and our man, our lady. Uh, I need y'all to remember us in prayer. Uh, our nephew touched his life our Tuesday, I mean Monday at our noon, and... Uh, uh, man, we sure do need some prayer. Man, these young men, I don't know what all was going on, though, but man, many up, man, uh, well, he took his life, and, uh, y'all remember us in prayer. Man, we got my brother in, he's fighting for his life, too, also, uh, we got Don Hoskins, Lupoma, and I don't know how much more longer he's gonna hold on either. So, uh, sir, I appreciate y'all out there if you pray for my, Hicks family and the Jameses, and uh, thank you very much. All so, right, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, yeah, terrible, terrible situation, uh, terrible situation there. And we hope that uh, that uh, good Lord will help him get through that. Uh, that there, 21 after the hour. Good morning, here on this Wednesday. Phone lines are back open at uh, 423. 642-9596 or 706-657-7594 is the uh, telephone number on this 26th day of August. Well, the new radio station that's going to be uh, coming on the air uh, is going to be the home. We've already told you about the uh, North Jackson Chiefs. Football will be on every Friday night on 106.1. And uh, 95.7 FM. It's going to be called Mix 106, and we're talking about it uh, today for the first time. Mix 106 and 95.7 FM. It's a great mix of faith, family, and country music. And uh, the kind of the uh, the slogan line for the radio station will be uh, uh, will kind of uh, kind of speak for itself. Faith family and country music and you'll be able to listen to it all over uh, Sand Mountain at 1061 all over the uh, uh, basically from Scottsboro all the way north uh, to uh, to uh, matter of fact we were listening to the actual signal uh, I drove it all the way to Dunlap so up and down the up and down the Tennessee Valley uh, there along the uh, river and up towards uh, Squatchy County uh, be able to uh, to listen to uh, to all of it so if you listen uh, if you're watching on television and you uh, live in Hollywood or Stevenson or our uh, Fackler or uh, Bridgeport 
uh, in Jackson County, up and down the valley. Uh, you got a brand new radio station if you're fixing to kick off here in just a, uh, a few short days at 106.1 FM and 95.7. Uh, that's the uh, 95.7 is the actual. Uh, uh, transmitter that will be in Chattanooga and you'll be able to hear it while you're in Chattanooga if you want to switch over to that frequency but and then Marion County uh, a 1061 of course South Pittsburgh and Jasper and Whitwell and um, Kimball all up Powell's Crossroads all up and down the uh, the uh, the valley there so uh, mix 106 the new radio station that's going to be debuting in just a few days it'll be the home of North Jackson High School football this season and by the way, their first game is coming up this week. So as we're, if you're listening to 1061 now, of course it is being uh, uh, simulcast here on K, KWN and uh, at, at the new tower site, the new location at uh, over uh, at on the brow looking over the uh, South Pittsburgh Bridgeport area uh, in uh, North Jackson County. And uh, we, will, uh, we will air the North Jackson game on all of our frequencies this week until we uh, launch uh, the new station will be launched by next week I don't want to be won't be too confusing but if you're listening to 1061 you'll have the North Jackson uh, Chiefs game on uh, this week there were some talk yesterday about moving that game to Thursday night uh, and if they do move it we'll have it here uh, if they are going to continue to play it on Friday night then we'll have it here at 1061 we'll also have it on KWN uh, uh, 101.3, our FM uh, on News Radio 101.3 and 1420. Um, we'll have it here because we are simulcasting for just a, a few uh, a few more days there. I hope to I hope that it kind of explained it a little bit. But uh, faith, family, and country music is going to be a great mix of uh, of uh, faith, family, and country, and uh, just a, uh, all American flag waving country. So it's a uh, you know, with a lot of uh, uh, faith-based and America-based uh, music, it's uh, it's going to be a pretty neat. It's going to be different than you hear on the radio anywhere now. So, uh, kind of excited about that to being launched uh, uh, here real, real soon. Mix 106 to 95.7 FM, a, a great mix of faith, family, and. Uh, in country music. 25 minutes half the hour. We'll take more of your phone calls coming up. If you'd like to get in, just uh, give us a call after the break. At Comfort Gallery in Kimball, you can truly shop for any piece of furniture from any of our manufacturers. Drop in today and use our in-store kiosk. It's over 40 inches of full color, completely interactive for ease of use. And yes, you can shop all of our manufacturers for virtually any piece you may be looking for. Come to Comfort Gallery in Kimball to find exactly what you need for your home using our kiosk to shop from all of our manufacturers. Free delivery and setup, one year free layaway, and 6 to 12 months, same as cash available at Comfort Gallery, 780 Main Street, Kimball, Tennessee. Gigabit Internet Residential Service is now available to customers of the North Alabama Electric Co-op with NAEC Fiber in Jackson and Marshall County. Residential gig service is now available for only $79.95. Call today to have your gig service installed at 256-437-5000. High-speed fiber residential gig internet service now available to customers of the North Alabama Electric Co-op with NAEC Fiber. Business and commercial customers can get gig service too. Call for pricing 256-437-5000. Gig service from North Alabama Electric Co-op. 256-437-5000. Rising Farm Hardware is your place for all your gardening needs. Seeds, onion sets, cabbage, strawberry plants, and more. A complete line of home hardware items, too. Everything for the house, including plumbing, hardware, and metal roofs. Plus, Rising Farm Hardware has everything you need for your livestock, including name brands like Nutria, Tucker, and Faithway. Always with a hometown atmosphere, it's Rising Farm Hardware. 4300 Highway 11 South in Rising Farm. Open 8 in the morning till 6 at night, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and 8 to noon on Wednesday. Even open on Saturday from 8 until 4. Rising Phone hardware. Back to the uh, KWIN Today program, uh, 27 now after the hour. Good morning, everyone, on this Wednesday. Evan Stone with you in the uh, in the studio on both radio and television. Got a news uh, uh, segment coming up at the bottom of the hour. We'll get an update on several uh, several things that are happening around the country with a Fox News update that's on the way. We'll also get uh, Georgia News, uh, get an update there. And then uh, we'll have Susan King. She'll update us on several stories that we're following here around the region along with 
along with an updated weather forecast as we're waiting on some rain coming in uh, because of the hurricane. But nothing, nothing like that they're going to experience with the hurricane making uh, making uh, landfall that uh, they've been been tracking. Uh, it's uh, not uh, not good for those folks. So uh, we 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 could see some. Uh, could see some rain. That's uh, that's the reason a lot of the teams have moved their games from Friday night to Thursday night. South Pittsburgh has moved their game. Marion County has moved uh, moved uh, their game. Pirates uh, take it on, I believe, uh, Grundy County is what's on their uh, on their list uh, for their uh, this coming uh, this coming uh, Friday night. But they've moved it to Thursday night. They've moved it to Thursday night. Marion County Warriors, uh, Squatchy County Indians, they've also moved that to uh, Thursday night as well. And we're still waiting word uh, for North Jackson Chiefs and the Whitwell Tigers that will square off. And uh, you should be able to, uh, we'll, we'll know here before uh, for too much longer. As a matter of fact, uh, coming up uh, coming up today, uh, for those of you uh, on KWN TV, uh, just uh, stay tuned because coming up this morning, uh, uh, we've got uh, high school football for you on KWN TV. It's going to be Whitwell and Bledsoe County. For the Whitwell Bledsoe County from last Friday night, uh, uh, Heath Thacker will uh, bring you the play by play. That'll be coming up at the top of the hour on KWN TV and streaming, of course, anywhere, anytime at ITV. Chattanooga. Take a quick news break coming up here at the bottom of the hour. We'll talk uh, more. We're going to keep the phone lines open again after the uh, after the bottom of the hour. If you'd like to call in and uh, be a part of the program, maybe you all have uh, have some questions uh, that uh, that uh, uh, that we may can uh, help you on or or uh, get somebody to 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 help you on, if you will. And uh, we'll have that. Uh, and by the way. Uh, we'll we'll have a Braves update, but uh, they were rained out last night. If you followed us last night on the radio with the Braves, they were rained out, and they've got a uh, double hitter today. I think the uh, first pitch uh, got to be around 4:30 this afternoon. That means we're going to be on the air uh, somewhere around 2:55 or so for the pregame uh, activities. So we'll have two Braves games today on News Radio 101.3 and 1420. K W N. All right, uh, got our news break coming up. Stay close for that. That's coming up at the bottom of the hour. We'll get an update on what's happening with the news from uh, first from the uh, Fox News Network. That's on the way right here on K W N today. W K W N Trenton. Fox News. I'm Chris Foster. Two people are dead, a third hurt in shootings during protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Police are looking for someone with a rifle. This was the third night of protest since the police shooting of Jacob Blake. His mother, Julia Jackson, says if her son knew what was going on. The violence and the destruction, he would be very unpleased. Dozens of businesses are damaged or destroyed. Mike Pompeo is the first sitting Secretary of State to give a political speech during his party's convention. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's convention address from Israel. President Trump has put his America First vision into action. It may not have made him popular in every foreign capital, but it's worked. Democrats fumed at Pompeo's appearance. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi accusing the Secretary of discoloring bipartisanship. Fox's John Roberts. America's listening to Fox News. in a minute from GNN, the Georgia News Network. Another Georgia teenager is dead from COVID-19 complications. A deputy coroner confirms a Habersham County 14-year-old with underlying medical conditions was the victim, marking the fourth child under the age of 17 to die from coronavirus in the state. Governor Brian Kemp's office is pointing to recent improvements in COVID-19 trends. A spokeswoman said yesterday there's been a recent 23% decline in new cases. A new White House report shows Georgia slid from first overall in the country for new cases to second this week. Kemp's considering deploying National Guard teams around the state to nursing homes and schools to help contain COVID-19. 
and several Georgia Republicans are headed to Washington, D.C. to watch President Trump's renomination acceptance speech. The AJC reports U.S. Senator Kelly Leffler, Congressman Rick Allen, and Congressman Buddy Carter have confirmed they'll be at the White House for the Thursday event. I'm Matt McClure. This is GNN, the Georgia News Network. I thought this was the end of the business. There was no question. We were done. Small business owner Mike Dennehy talks about how the coronavirus impacted his business. We have 10 employees. They have 10 kids. They have 10 spouses. They can't afford to miss a paycheck, especially now. Senator David Perdue delivered help for small businesses, saving jobs like those at Dennehy's business. Saving those jobs saved health insurance for Georgia families. The work Senator Perdue did made a real difference for my business. Without Senator Perdue's efforts, we'd be closed. Senator Perdue really did deliver and allowed us to keep our employees health care and their salaries. Now Senator Purdue is doing even more, cutting red tape for small businesses like ours so that we can have some kind of future. Call Senator David Purdue at 404-865-0087 and tell him to keep working for loan relief. Pass S4117, the Paycheck Protection Small Business Forgiveness Act. Tell Senator Purdue keep fighting for businesses like ours and save Georgia jobs. Paid for by One Nation, OneNationAmerica.org. The GBI overturns the manner of death in a Walker County man's 2016 death with a news watch on News Radio KWN. I'm Susan King. Back in 2016, Walker County man Donald Ficky Jr. lost his life in what his family describes as a verbal fight that turned deadly. But medical examiners and the GBI at the time ruled Ficky's death as a suicide, and they let that determination stand until now. Walker County Sheriff Steve Wilson, though, says he does not plan on opening up an investigation into Ficky's death. He says there's just not enough evidence. The Federal Emergency Management Agency approves Georgia's grant application for the Lost Wages Assistance Program. That's President Donald Trump's plan to extend enhanced federal jobless benefits. The FEMA grant will allow Georgia to provide an additional $300 supplement to eligible individuals receiving benefits from Georgia's state and federal jobless insurance programs. A Marion County woman is charged with 10 care fraud for selling prescription meds obtained using 10 care health care insurance benefits. The Office of Inspector General teaming up with the Jasper Police Department on Tuesday announcing the arrest of 61 year old Kathy Norman, also known as Kathy McNabb. Investigators say Norman used 10 care benefits to obtain a prescription for the painkiller oxycodone, later selling the drug to someone else. With the News Watch on News Radio KWN, I'm Susan King. Hey, what do you want to da da da? I don't know. What do y'all think we should da da da? Well, what did we da yesterday? Mm, yesterday. All the dolls feel like the same doll these dolls. I know. Like, is today Monday or Tuesday? Today is Thursday. <gasps> oh no, I forgot to call my mom on her birthday. Oh, no. No! These days, nothing is normal and everything is weird. But you could still save big when you switch to Progressive. That won't change. Not to die or any die. Well, to die at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Indeed knows a lot of small businesses took a hit recently and are busy trying to figure out plans for the future. So if you're hiring, it means finding the right people is more critical than ever before. Indeed will help you find the quality candidates you need while only paying for what you need. Claim your $75 credit to get more quality candidates fast when you post your first job at Indeed.com slash high impact. That's Indeed.com slash high impact. Terms and conditions apply. For generations, Benjamin Moore independent retailers have been serving their communities. Well, those retailers want you to know that they still are. If you have a need, many of them are open and offering delivery or curbside pickup to help you safely. For more information, reach out to your local Benjamin Moore retailer. See the love. Benjamin Moore. Find a paint you love at Shenandoah Paint and Decorating, 5529 Hicks and Pike, or 5243 Little Debbie Parkway. Chattanooga Paint and Decorating. Announcing the Ford Summer Sales Event at Landers McClarty Ford, Fort Payne, Alabama, home of America's hardest working truck. Right now, all 2020 Ford EcoSports on sale for as low as $17,900 with $4,500 retail customer cash and 0% financing for 72 months. See dealer for details and additional fees. Medical professionals and first responders take an additional 500 bonus cash. Landers McClarty Ford, 1916 Glen Boulevard, Southwest Fort Payne. Shop online, Landers McClarty Ford, Fort Payne.net. First alert weather on News Radio KWIN. 
Scattered showers and a few possible thunder showers will continue to move in from the south for your afternoon. Lots of clouds, highs only 82 to 85. Tonight, leftover shower possible, some late fog, lows lower 70s. For Wednesday, partly sunny, a few widely scattered, mainly afternoon showers and storms, highs mid and upper 80s, 88 to 90 on Thursday. Oncologist Dr. Eric Turner is now seeing patients at People's Cancer Institute at Hamilton Medical Center in Dalton. Call 844-PCI-HOPE for an appointment. And I'm Storm Team 12 Chief Meteorologist Patrick Hoare. News Radio KWN. Thirty-eight minutes after uh, the hour, twenty-two in front of the top of the hour. The KWN Morning uh, KWN Today program continues all around the Tri-State area. Radio and TV. Glad to have you along with us. Phone lines are back up and on this segment. If you'd like to get in, all you got to do is give us a call. And uh, and uh, the number's on the screen. But if you're listening by radio, it is seven zero six six five seven seventy five ninety four or six four two ninety five. 96 is the uh, is the number to call. Rolling on here on this Wednesday, a double hitter uh, for the Braves coming up later on today. Once again, they've got the uh, Braves got to be on the air. Uh, they rained out yesterday, so they've got a uh, double hitter. It's uh, going to be uh, kicking off later on today. As a matter of fact, uh, I think 4:30. Uh, and let me check here as uh, as we look uh, at uh, the. Uh, uh, the information that the Braves sent us uh, last night, and uh, give me just a second to find it here. There it is. All right. Uh, yes, we will be on the air at 255 today. 255. They'll play a double hitter now during the COVID-19 2020 season. Of course, the double hitters are only seven innings long, so they'll play 14 innings today. Game one will uh, have the first pitch scheduled at 4:10. Uh, 255 for our airtime. The San Fernando double hitters once again are all seven innings. So the Braves, the San Fernando double hitter, right here on the home of the Braves News Radio 101.3 FM 1420 AM K. W N. All right, double hitter today for the Braves. So that is some good, uh, good things happening there. Good morning, everyone. Twenty uh, sixth day of August, and once again, we do have the phone lines open. If you'd like to be a part of the uh, of the program here, uh, you can uh, you can give us a call for uh, uh, to to get yourself on the air. So, and by the way, the Braves are going to be playing the Yankees, New York Yankees. Be a double. Double hitter today, if you uh, if you will. They were rained out last uh, last night. Also, uh, I want to pass along to you that the uh, coming up uh, tomorrow, Gordon Central Day County Softball is going to be playing uh, on the 27th. They'll be uh, they'll be taking the field uh, tomorrow, and uh, that's going to be for softball at about 5:30. 5:30. And uh, of course, uh, then Friday night. Haven't heard about the uh, uh, game of North Sand Mountain. If they've moved it, uh, I am assuming it's still on Friday night, and that's uh, North Sand Mountain and Woodville. And they, they will be. Uh, that that was the game, by the way, that would have opened the North Sand Mountain season, and it would have been the Dade County North Sand Mountain rivalry game, but because Georgia High School Association moved football back two weeks. They were unable to, Dade was unable to play. North Sand Mountain uh, was able to pick up Woodville. Um, and uh, they're going to be playing Woodville this coming uh, Friday night, the uh, 28th. And uh, we haven't heard, uh, but as far as we know, it will be on Friday night. We're still waiting word. Uh, we talked to the North Jackson uh, Chiefs coach yesterday because we we're going to be carrying them on the new 1061 uh, frequency in the Valley. We talked to them, and uh, he's still waiting word. They're talking with Whitwell about possibly moving that Friday night game. But right now, as far as we know, unless uh, it's happened here uh, just uh, just recently, that uh, we know Marion County's game and South Pittsburgh's game has been moved to Thursday night. But we're still waiting to hear about Whitwell and North Jackson, and of course we'll let you know. Dade County, uh, of course, uh, will kick their season off a week. Uh, from uh, this coming Friday night. Looking forward to that. We will carry the uh, Dade County High School football games live on Friday night, of course, as we always do on News Radio 
3 and 1420 AM KWM. Dade County will be uh, kicking off with their rival, Gordon Lee. And that's going to be coming up September the 4th, about a, a week and seven hours away if you're counting. <laughs> All right. Uh, got to return of high school sports. It'll be week number two for Tennessee and week number one for Alabama. And uh, I guess it's still week zero, if you will, for uh, Georgia coming up uh, this week. So that's the way the uh, that's the way the high school football uh, games are going to be played. And, of course, you can keep up to date at the Mountain Valley Independent, Dade County's newspaper online at discoverdade.com. Discoverdade.com is the uh, is the number to call. Stay with us. We've got another break coming up. We're going to get a uh, update on the Braves from the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. We'll also get a uh, a Mox update on this break. That's right. From uh, Jim Reynolds' voice of the March, we've been wondering exactly what they've got to, uh, they've got uh, coming up. They've actually got a game scheduled, even though their conference has been uh, called off, and that'll be coming up on our sports. So stay with us. 9.43 now. We're back after this on KWIN. A small bank with big service. Citizens Bank and Trust. Offering a wide range of services, including online banking. Pay your bills. Manage your account anytime, 24 hours a day. Your account balance is only a phone call away as well at 657-1234. Or visit our convenient locations. Look out Mountain, Georgia, Higdon, Alabama, on our main branch on Highway 11 and Trent. Citizens Bank and Trust. 657-5678. A community bank that believes in the community. Citizens Bank and Trust. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. If you're testing your blood sugar four more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetic Health Hotline today and learn about the latest CGM technology. Not only can a CGM immediately reduce pain, it's accurate, easy to use, and helps you make better diabetes treatment decisions. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. We'll also provide free shipping of your new CGM, and we'll bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four more times per day and injecting insulin three or more times per day or using an insulin pump, call now and learn how to receive your new continuous glucose monitor at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Attention, have you been diagnosed with asbestos, lung cancer, or mesothelioma? Were you a worker in a shipyard, or a railroad worker, a pipe fitter, or a worker in the oil and gas industry, worked in construction, or a Navy vet? If you worked in any of these professions, were exposed to asbestos, and now have lung cancer or mesothelioma, you may be entitled to compensation. Call 855-210-7838. That's 855-210-7838. Looking around your home thinking it may be time for a new look, let Comfort Gallery and Kimball help you make perfect choices for every room in your home. Living room, bedroom, dining room suits from all the major furniture manufacturers. If we don't have what you need in the store, browse our full color interactive kiosk to find exactly what you need. And don't forget a new mattress set. After all, sleeping well makes everything better. At Comfort Gallery, we offer free delivery and setup, one year free layaway, and six and 12 months, same as cash. Comfort Gallery, 780 Main Street, one mile north of I-24, exit 152A in Kimball, Tennessee. All right, back to the uh, KWIN Today program. Uh, we are on the air today. And uh, we've got a brand new uh, sponsor. We're going to be talking about that uh, before too much uh, longer uh, here uh, in the next day or so. But uh, uh, it's just been a few weeks ago. I needed a uh, to replace a uh, a glass in my uh, in my windshield, uh, one of my vehicles in the Jeep, as a matter of fact, and uh, been uh, been needing to do that. And uh, I called Kenny 
at uh, Kenny's Glassworks in Higdon. Now, they're located at 2271 County Road 95. Okay, that's where they're located. But in my case, Kenny was located here in the Grove Shopping Center because Kenny was able to come here and he he done all the work and, and installed me a brand new uh, windshield for the Jeep. And uh, so from from that case, Kenny's uh, glassware was, you know, he is located on Sand Mountain, uh, and he is on County Road 95 at 2271 County Road 95. But let me just tell you, uh, he's available to come wherever you are. So if you're in South Pittsburgh, if you're in Lafayette, if you're, you're in Rising Fawn, uh, you need uh, some glass work done, uh, he'll be happy to... Uh, to uh, to come uh, and do it for you, let me uh, let me give you the uh, number to call because I, I do want you to uh, uh, to be able to call and uh, and talk with uh, talk with Kenny. Uh, I was very very pleased uh, with uh, with the uh, uh, with the uh, with the call. I mean with with the call that I made when I got Kenny to come down, and uh, it was. Um, I mean, very, very reasonable, very reasonable, and uh, we're just, uh, just really. Uh, let me give you his phone number: four two three six five three four 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 three. Okay, it's Kenny's Glasswork. Uh, he will come to where you're at, uh, if at all possible. He does have a shop, of course, but uh, he he basically goes anywhere in the tri-state area to take care of your windows. Uh, windshields for your automobiles, other glass uh, wear, uh, 423-653-4443. And uh, uh, Kenny, a new sponsor here on KWN uh, News Radio and KWN TV here on the KWN Today program. So we, we thank Kenny, number one, for what he did for us. I recommend him because of what he done and the the price that I had to pay uh, and the quality work that I got. Uh, just uh Four two three six five three four 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 three. So if you want to call, maybe you got a broke windshield, maybe you got one of those little, uh, you know, gra uh, uh, gravel that's uh, kneeing, uh you know, uh, put a little bitty spider in that windshield, and you want to get that repaired before it, you know, really gets bad. Well, he he can do that, and uh, you give him a call. Four two three six five three four 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 three. Tell him we were talking about him on the radio and the TV here on the KWN today program. All right, uh, not away from the hour here uh, on this 26th day of August. Time for a sports update. We'll begin this morning with uh, sports here on KWIN Today. We'll get a Braves update here on the uh, here on the radio for us. And once again, we'll find out about that double hitter, the Braves, coming up today on KWIN. <laughs> Now, it's time for your Atlanta Braves morning update. Ian Anderson's big league debut will have to wait another day. The only way to guarantee access to the 2021 MLB All-Star Week is with an A-List membership. Head to Braves.com slash A-List and become a 2021 A-List member today. Tuesday night, the Braves and Yankees series opener at Truist Park was postponed due to rain and will be made up as a traditional doubleheader coming up this afternoon with first pitch of Game 1 scheduled for 4.10 p.m. Eastern. Game 1 was set to feature the big league debut of 22-year-old right-hander Ian Anderson facing off against one of the toughest pitchers in the American League, Garrett Cole in Game 1, while Max Freed was set to take on Masahiro Tanaka in Game 2. Braves had Monday off before the postponement of Tuesday's game and enter play tonight 10-4 and four through the first 14 games played here at Truist Park this season. Meanwhile, the Braves were swept in a two-game series at Yankee Stadium on the last road trip, but still enter play tonight 16-12, and 12, good for first place in the National League East. Meanwhile, the Yankees got a big boost to their lineup on Tuesday afternoon as slugger Aaron Judge was activated off the injured list. Braves did make a couple other roster moves prior to Tuesday night's rain out as Nick Marcakis was activated from the IL, while Ronald Acuna Jr. was back off the injured list off that wrist injury back at the top of the order leading off in center field. Braves and Yankees will make up their rain out from Tuesday as part of a doubleheader starting today at 4.10 p.m. Eastern and hear all the action right here on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. I'm Kevin McAlpin and this has been your Braves Radio Network Morning Update. Football in the fall. What a concept. This is Jim Reynolds. The Chattanooga Mocs will be playing football this fall. One non-conference game. 
The Mox will be on the road at Western Kentucky Saturday, October 24th. The hope is to play a non-conference game in the fall, then play a conference schedule, maybe only six league games, complete with FCS playoffs in the spring. When the Southern Conference came to the conclusion it was not possible to safely play a league schedule, they did leave it up to the member schools to decide if they wanted to play any non-conference games. UTC explored that possibility, ended up playing Western Kentucky and Bowling Green, a team that was already on their schedule. The Mocs were to open the season against the Hilltoppers Saturday, September 5th. Then the game was moved to Thursday, September 3rd, now moved to October 24th. The Mocs are going to use the fall season like spring practice. Practice for several weeks, then instead of playing a blue-gold inter-squad game, play Western Kentucky and earn about $350,000. Mox Athletic Director Mark Warren said he talked to the players and they're on board. We're committed to all the testing and protocols that we need to do and um, we had two conversations with the whole team about moving forward and they're ready to go and, and I think we're going to do it right. It provides us enough time to get these guys in shape and then uh, jump right into three weeks of implementation and let's go play. The hope is to play a conference schedule this winter beginning in February complete with playoffs and a national champion. This August, you could win $20,000. $20,000. Or even $200,000. $200,000. Introducing two new instant games with two ways to play. Two ways to play. And two ways to win. Two ways to win. Double match and double match bonus. Double match and double match bonus. Double the fun. Double the chances. Double the cash. Double match and double match bonus. Only from the Tennessee Lottery. Game-changing fun. Please play responsibly. Get ready to get your game on with the Tennessee Lottery and fill up your day with fun. Like when you need to upgrade the fun on that road trip. When you could use a little did I just win $50 fun. Woo, yeah! Or when you'd like to add a side of fun to that next snack. Mm, wow, that's good. Would you like some fun with that? Well, yeah. Then play the Tennessee Lottery. And for just a dollar or two, you can get your game on. Please remember, play responsibly. Chat with the Mox tomorrow night with head football coach Rusty Wright. Chat with the Mox 7 o'clock at Puckett's in downtown Chattanooga. Yes, you can join us tomorrow night at 7, but if you can't make it, listen to the program right here on WFLI. For well, the Mox Daily Sports Update for Wednesday, this is your Reynolds from Learfield IMG College. Once you try Chattanooga Florist, you'll never go anywhere else. In times of crisis and trying times, you may not be able to attend certain ceremonies or events due to the coronavirus, but you can always send flowers or a gift such as a plush animal, Mylar balloons, gift baskets, chocolates, and more. Call 423-698-3303 or visit our website at chatflorist.com. Let flowers whisper the things you'd love to say. Chattanooga Florist, corner of Maine and Hickory, online at chatflorist.com. That's chatflorist with one T. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. Ouch! Well, by wearing a small remote device called a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers. Here's what our customers had to say. Painless. No more pricking my finger. No finger pricks. Convenience. They delivered it free, and they took care of all the paperwork. If you're testing your blood sugar four or more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, Day or using an insulin pump, a CGM can help you. It's accurate, easy to use, and if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Plus, get free shipping of your new CGM, and we can bill Medicare for you. Honestly, I had my doubts, but that new CGM is painless. Call now. 800-633-1378. 800-633-1378. That's 800-633-1378. News Radio K Win. Your home for the Atlanta Braves and Rick and Bubba mornings. News Radio K Win. WKWN Trenton. Back to the uh, studios of KUN, AM and FM, KUN News Radio, 1013 and 1420 AM. And still, uh, of course, uh, carrying our signal at uh, 1061. It's going to become the new mix, 106 and 957 FM. A great mix of faith. 
family and country music. Uh, just uh, uh, can't wait for that. I think you're really going to enjoy uh, the music. Positive, encouraging country, along with some great, uh, great faith music, uh, mixture of faith, family. Uh, kind of talking about talking about uh, uh, a, a great mix of uh, music uh, that'll uh, talk about Mama, the Good Lord, and of course our great country. It's going to be a, it's going to be very very uh, 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 very very neat to listen to. If you're uh, if you're an American, I think you're really going to like it. That's uh, that'll be coming up with a new mix. 106 and 95.7 FM, and it's going to be launching real, real soon. And once again, it will be the home of North Jackson High School football this uh, this season, uh, live on Thursday or Friday night, depending on whenever they do play. <laughs> we'll have it for you. And of course, uh, News Radio KWN. We'll continue here, uh, uh, KWN, with uh, Dade County High School on Friday night on News Radio 101.3 and 1420 AM, KWN. Of course, uh, you, you just heard Jim Reynolds talk about uh, Thursday night on WFLI, AM and FM. Of course, you've got uh, Chat with the Mox. They're back with a brand-new program that will be coming up tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on 97.7 FM and 1070 AM, WFLI. And, of course, the Braves on the air every evening here on KWIN. A lot of activity going on. And finally, finally, isn't that neat that we're finally getting back to hopefully some type of uh, normalcy for uh, for sure. So just uh, stay with us. We've got uh, coming up, uh, we're talking about sports, we've got the Whitwell High School and Bledsoe County game that played last Friday night on television. So if you want to watch some high school football, it's been a while. For high school football, we will have that for you coming up at the top of the hour here on News Radio, uh, or excuse me, on KWN TV and streaming at ITV Chattanooga. So Whitwell and Bledsoe with uh, Heath Thacker and the uh, play by play. And uh, of course, uh, we invite you back tomorrow right here on uh, KWN Today as we'll have another edition of the kickoff just after. 9 o'clock. So everybody have a great day. Uh, we'll keep you up to date throughout today. We've got two more Rick, of, uh, Rick and Bubba hours on radio. Todd Starnes. And then at 2.55 this afternoon, we will go live with the Atlanta Braves. It's a double hitter. Both games today. There's this, it's a short two-game set with uh, New York with the Yankees and uh, with interleague play. That will be coming up later on. Uh, today with a double hitter at 2:55 for the pregame right here on WKWN Trenton WKWN News Radio 101.3 and 1420 AM KWN. Have a great day, everyone. The most immediate signs of bear one.